Neil Krupp. Oh, yo. Swing and a miss. And we're underway. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next pitch is downstairs. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Got him. One gone here. Now batting Key Brian Hayes. The third baseman, number 13. Key Brian Hayes. Lifted in the air, right center field. Pat under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Two away down. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Batting third. The catcher, Travis Darno. And that one fouled off. All in one now. All one. One and one. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The pitch. Up the middle. Corner over to pick it up. Gets it to first. Third out. Ben Gamble. He's out in left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. Bottom of the first. Here's Nick Madrigal. Ben Gamble. And the pitch. Ball one there. Now one and one. One and one. Bounced out to short. Cruz collects it. Tosses the first. One up, one down. In half, up to hit. Batting second. The right fielder. Ian. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Stepping in, Anthony Rizzo. Had the day off yesterday. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is in the dirt. That one lifted to left. This looks like extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. And it's scored position with two away. Wilson Contreras. The next cup to hit. The catcher. Wilson Contreras. And a foul ball. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. And it's second. Next offering is outside. Rizzo on its second with two down. Next offering is foul back. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. 2-2 two -two down. In the air, left field. Gamble on the move towards the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the inning.
here at Wrigley Field. Second inning, set to go. Roberto Perez standing in. First offering, misses the mark. A wide to kick the pitch. And that one handled. Over to first. One out in the second. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Here's Ben Gamble. Next pitch downstairs. And it's 1-0. Next one misses. And the count is 2-0. That one close, ruled a ball. Three balls, no strikes. Good nope. plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch, wasn't even much to think about. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. That one the other way. Two down. And it's Michael Chavis at the plate. The second baseman, Michael. Chavis. First pitch just misses. No score here in the second. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. And a one two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back here at Wrigley Field, stepping in the long ball threat, Patrick Wisdom. Leading off for the Cubs. And he grounds one back up the middle. Throw to first is in time. And quickly one away in the second. Now batting Tim Locastro. Batting fifth. No left field. In there, and it's 0-1. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. The next offering misses. One ball, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Frank Schwindel, the next Cub to the hit. Hitter. Right. Schwindel. Line drive, puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in is the speedy Anthony Alford. First pitch doesn't Anthony. find the zone. Next one off the plate inside. Two balls, no strikes. Kicks and deals. Ball three. Fouls one away and now three and two. The pitch. Got him. And one away in the top of the third. Here's Jason Hayward. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. And it's through for a hit. So the lineup flips over. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is inside, and now it's even one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Top of the third, no score. Stays alive. Righty delivers, and a swing and a miss. 
And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Fouled off left side. You'll want. And a foul ball. Hayward off the first with two away. Ground ball, Rizzo picks it up. He takes it on his own, and that's the third out. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning, Rafael Ortega stands in. Leading off for the Cubs. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ortega. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Nico Horner. Batting none. Not shortstop. Nico Horner. In there for strike one. In the air, out towards right center. Alford makes the grab, and there's two away. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs the lineup. Number Here's one. the second baseman, second baseman. Nick Madrigal. Madrigal. First offering, misses the mark. Next pitch, not close, up high. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Start of the fourth, and here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Mills back to work. The catcher. Towards first, dives, but it kicks off his glove. A flip to the pitcher covering. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Perez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch misses. And a count even one and one. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass. And uh, obviously, he's not a big strikeout guy, but... He gets soft contact, and he gets out. Two outs, base is empty. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Ben Gamble. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And the right-hander deals. Way inside, gets out of the way. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one's deep, and in one hops the wall. And he's got a double. Go ahead, run on base. Here's Glaber Torres. And Boog, I'd say he's due. First offering, and it just misses. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. That misses. Two and one. Runner at second, two down. In the air, right field. Pulls up, and it drops for a hit. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Here's Chavis now. The batter number two. Second baseman. Michael Chavis. First pitch and he just misses. Now this is a guy originally drafted as a shortstop. He's got big time power. 2-0. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. one. 
Javis from Sprayberry High School. And you know what? Spray something here and drive in a run. Right into the play. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. And the righty deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And that is that. Back here at the friendly confines. Ready to go. Bottom four. And the batter now, Ian Hatt. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And that's a base hit. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Up next to the cut. The first baseman, Anthony. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Next offering way off the plate. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Rizzo out of the play. And there's one down. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. He's okay. sitting on 99 career okay. homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch Josh number 100. Taylor. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The next pitch misses, and the count one and two. They try to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Right hander kicks deals. That's inside. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Got him swinging. And two away now. And now Number here is Patrick Wisdom. Grounded Patrick. out his first time. Wisdom. That one's in there on one. Pat off of first with two away. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. And the 0-2. Got him. That is the inning. Welcome back. And now, Anthony Alford. Wind of the pitch. That's inside. 1-0. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. To third, and foul ball. The 2-1. There's a strike. Comes the 2 2. And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Jason Hayward getting ready to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And there's a foul ball. And now the 0 1. And that one lifted in the air center field. Ortega moving under this one. And makes the grab. And there's two down. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Up next to the Pirates. The shortstop. O'Neill. 
Mm. And first offering is fouled off. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Next offering down in the dirt. And he grounds one to the right side. Takes it himself, and that is that. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So up now for Chicago, Tim Locastro. First pitch, just misses. Castro. Next offering is in for a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. He didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. I'll tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. On the ground, into the outfield, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Frank Schwindel now at the plate. The bat, the designated hitter. Frank Schwindel. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next offering upstairs. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Lifted in the air, out to left. Gamble puts it away, and yeah, there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Now batting. Digging Jared in. Fielder. Rafael Ortega. Ortega. In there for strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Lo Castro on the run. Pitch inside to second, but way too late. Safe there. Left hand batter waits. Rudder goes again. Save! Lo Castro takes his lead at third with one away. Ground ball scooped up Key Brian Hayes. But the game is tied as the run comes in. Two outs, base is empty. Nico Horner, the next cup to him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The wind of the pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. It's gone over the left field wall. Back to the top of the lineup. And up next for Chicago, Nick Matrigo. Number one, second baseman. In there, and it's 0 1. 0 1 down, Madrigal. Bounce to the left side. Cruz picks it up. The throw to first. Inning over. Top of the sixth inning. Down the third baseman. Key Brian Hayes. The third baseman. Out into left Hayes. center for a line drive base hit. Now the catcher up to hit, Travis Darno. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. Nobody out, runner at first. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Stays alive. 
He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Brings it in. And there's one down. Up next for the Pirates, Roberto Perez. In there for strike one. Here comes a pitch. That one misses. Two balls and a strike. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Hayes, the base runner at first with one out. And that one is lifted in the air. Lo Castro gets there, he's under it, and puts the squeeze on that. Two down. Ben Gamble, the next pirate to hit. Now and he deals. And now two and nothing. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Pumps in a strike, and now three and one the count. And that one wrapped foul. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The three-two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Here comes Glaber Torres. First offering, and it just misses. A one out to right. Dives. What a play. Back here at Wrigley Field. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. For the Cubs. The right field. Hold strike right there. Oh, and Happ. And he's down 0-2 as he down swings forward. through it. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No oh, way of making contact with that one. Come on, Out to short. Cruz collects to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Anthony Rizzo, now the next the cup to hit. Base. One for two. Anthony. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. On the ground, out to short. Cruz out of first. And a couple of quick outs. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Now batting, catcher, Wilson. John Contreras. The other way. And it gets down for a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Here's a big power throw. Patrick Wisdom. To third baseman, number 16. Patrick Wisdom. Chop to the right side. Darnell throws to first in time. And that will end the inning. New inning getting started. Here's a speed threat. Michael Chavis. The second base. Michael 
Next one misses, and that's ball one. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. On the ground to third. Wisdom picks it up. On to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Up next to hit and now it's going to be Anthony Alford. First offering misses the mark. 99 pitches about to throw his 100th here in the seventh inning. This is where you really start looking for any signs of fatigue. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Makes the grab for the now second out. The now at the plate, Jason Hayward. Hayward. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Daniel Norris gets the call from the pen. He's been so good against lefties. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. O'Neill Cruz, the next Pirate to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next pitch has popped up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Lee Jordan, the traditional seventh inning stretch. Back here at the ballpark, now the left fielder, Tim Locastro. Leading off for the Cubs. No and left first field. offering is fouled Tim. off. Locastro. Kicks and fires. Pitch misses there, and it's a ball and a strike. And the right hander deals. In the air, third base side of the mound. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Frank Schwindel, the next cup to hit. The designated hitter, Frank Schwindel. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And there's two down. Here's the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. Center fielder, Rafael Ortega. Hammer, base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. Puts the tag on him, leaving the box. And that's the third out. For the top of the eighth, at the plate for Pittsburgh, Key Brian Hayes. The pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. Light drive. Makes the grab one down. A new arm into the game. The righty, Michael Gibbons. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Now, number 51, Michael. Given. Here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. First offering misses the mark. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Fooled on that fish, got a little anxious. 
The next offering misses, and it's two and one. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. The pitch. Snakes through that one. It's a strikeout. Now two out. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup hitter, Roberto Perez. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Next one is off the plate, and that is ball one. Bounce to the right side. Rizzo takes it to the bag. That's out number three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Tuki Tucson. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. So up now for Chicago, Nico Horner. Leading off for the Cubs. That's in for a strike. Nico. One one's the count. Horner. The next pitch misses. And one and one. Next one in the dirt. Next offering is downstairs. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Nick Madrigal. Good contact guy, good defender. Bunting, but that's a foul ball. Trying to move him over here. Oh, he gloves it. Sends it to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. And next for the Cubs, Ian Happ. The half dead. Right fielder. Ian. Yeah. Check on the runner. Corner back in on the dive. in there for strike one. Tucson checks the runner and he dives back in safely. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Next one misses. And the count one and two. 0-2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this guy. And it finds its way through for a hit. Runner around third. In there safely. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. The bat, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Swings and fouls one off. Over at first with one away. Swing and a base hit. Here comes the runner. He's in there. On the mound now for the Pirates, Aaron Fletcher. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Aaron Fletcher. Now the Cubs four-hole hitter, Wilson Contreras. This guy has That's turned into one of the best 40. catchers in the game, no but was originally signed by the Cubs as an infield. In there for strike one. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Into third now, 
So runners at the corners and one out. So they're at the corners now. Patrick Wisdom, the next Cub to hit. The third baseman, Patrick. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. In the dirt. And a ball in two strikes. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. In comes the run from third. And they lead by four. Two on with one out. Tim Locastro will hit next. The left fielder, number 33. Tim Locastro. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Now that so the bases are loaded here. One man gone. Right. And here's the DH for the Cubs. Frank Schwindel. The pitch. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Alford drifts towards it. Makes the grab. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 6-1. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. Ortega, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering misses, and it's 2-0. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Next pitch is outside. And that'll load the bases. So do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough advance? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Corner stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Corner checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And Mike Fillmore right on it. He says he held up. And the pitch. And there's the ball. Craig, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. In for a strike, now three and one. Wisdom at third, Locastro at second, Ortega at first, two out of the inning. The three one in for a strike, full count. Out of line, out towards center. Drops for a hit, he couldn't run it down. One run across. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Here at Wrigley Field, here's the left fielder, Ben Gamble. Leading off for Pittsburgh, the left fielder. Givens, ben back to work. Gamble. And that's in for a strike. And the pitch. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next pitch inside. And a count two and one. Next one misses. Three balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. 
Right field down the line and that one slices down. Three two on the way. And that one in the air center field. Ortega makes the play one up one down. Plenty of offense in this one Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected though. Well this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this um, but yeah you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Next offering is in for a strike. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, one strike. Next one is off the plate. And that's ball three. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Michael Chavis, the next to hit. Michael Chavis. That one's in there, 0 and 1. That's a next pitch misses, and it's 1 and 1. And the righty deals. Now a pop up on the infield. Magical. Has this one sized up? And he makes the catch. That's out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped Anthony. it up. Now here is Anthony Alford. In there and it's 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Nope. Next one misses. One and two to count. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game.